Hi everyone, uh, this is Zara from Baby Waishi and uh, welcome to the second segment in our pacifier series. Our last uh, video dealt with the uh, do's and don'ts regard with regards to using a pacifier and today we are going to talk about the pros and cons related to pacifiers. Uh, as I mentioned in my previous video, my daughter used a pacifier for around 15 months starting from when she was around 2 months of age. So uh, I just recently weaned her around 2, uh, two months back and I thought it the perfect time uh, to do a series on pacifiers. First off, let's talk about the advantages of using a pacifier. This is actually one of the main reasons why I purchased a pacifier. I had some lactation issues and couldn't um, feed my daughter beyond a month. So uh, a lot of you may know that a baby does not suckle just during hunger, just when they are hungry. They suckle also for uh, security and to feel soothed. And since that wasn't an option for my daughter, she would cry like crazy. So uh, that's one of the reasons why I went in for a pacifier. Yes, this does help soothe them and help them fall asleep whenever my daughter was irritable or had just uh, come out from a bout of gas and you know she was finding it a little difficult to fall asleep, I would just pop it into her mouth and that's it, she would fall asleep very easily. Yes, it does provide a glorious distraction especially when you're going to the doctor. That's one of my main examples in fact. Uh, whenever I take my daughter for a vaccination, after a vaccination you know how loudly a baby screams. And at that time usually we just give them the breast and that's about it, they are soothed. But that's not possible all the time. And that's why a pacifier is useful. Whenever my daughter would start crying after a vaccination, I would just pop it into her mouth and that would help her feel uh, really soothed and uh, secure. I've read this a lot, I'm not sure how far it's true, but they say that using a pacifier helps reduce the risk, the risk of SIDS. SIDS refers to Sudden Infant Death Syndrome. Probably it's that suckling motion that uh, helps prevent them from, uh, you know, uh, this sort of thing. But uh, again, I'm not very sure. This is just something that I've read. Yes, it is extremely helpful during flights. As all of you know, during takeoff and landings, even our ear, ears get blocked and it causes a lot of discomfort. So it's just evident that that's the same thing that would happen to a baby. Now, not all babies would be ready to, uh, you know, take your breast or take the bottle. That's where a pacifier comes in handy. This, you know, helps pop their ears and all's well. A lot of people say that they find it difficult to wean their child off their breast or even you know if they have that finger sucking habit to get them off that habit. With a pacifier I personally feel that it becomes marginally easier because uh, you, it's not something that attached to you like your breast is attached to you so your child can see it and get tempted or their finger is right there but uh, pacifier you can just take it off, hide it somewhere, throw it somewhere and it becomes way easier. Now coming to the disadvantages uh, which are linked to the pacifiers. It is a pain to wean, yes. Uh, it took me around two months uh, and a lot of people say that it may be easier than weaning off breast milk but I don't really think that's true. It's just as difficult, both of them have their pros and cons and uh, nonetheless it is still a pain to wean your child off something that he or she is addicted to. Sterilization, yes, is a pain because you have to keep sterilizing it. Um, if your child is especially naughty, then he, he may, he or she may just, you know, drop it on the floor repeatedly, brush it against the wall, and having to sterilize it again and again is a real pain. So yeah, it's something that you have to do, but nevertheless, it's it's irritating. <laughs> A lot of people say that using a pacifier uh, for a longer time, prolonged usage that is, may cause buck teeth. Uh, I do think that's true in case uh, your child uses it for over two years or so. I have seen incidents like that. But uh, if uh, weaned off uh, earlier, then I don't really think that happens. But yeah, a prolonged usage may definitely lead to buck teeth. This is one thing that yeah, I did want to discuss because I feel parents do get just as addicted to the pacifier as the children. Uh, a lot of the times when we'd be going out and there were times when I'd forget the pacifier or forget to carry a spare pacifier and I would go into a frenzy, I would go fly into a panic because I used to feel like, oh my god, what if she starts crying, I won't be able to handle her, you know. So it just creates this psychological dependence on an external item which in the long run isn't really good. Even when I had to decide to wean her off the pacifier, it was more difficult for me in the beginning than it was for my daughter. Because every time she would cry out, I would 
my, my first instinct would be to pop the pacifier into her mouth but uh, you know that's why it becomes really really difficult yes the risk of an infection is definitely there if you use a pacifier especially if it is not uh, sterilized properly or if your child is a little naughty and as i said before tends to brush it against the wall or throw it here and there and misplace it so yeah there is a risk of infection if not cleaned properly these are the pros and cons that I have stated before you and after going through all of this you can probably make a much more informed decision on whether you do want to introduce the pacifier to your child or not. So moms I hope that this video has uh, helped you and uh, would help you make a decision on whether or not you'd want to go in for a pacifier for your child and if you've liked this video please hit the like button below i will also link the uh, first video in the description bar below in case you haven't already watched that and please do subscribe to our channel if, if you haven't already as always stay safe moms see you